These days, it's not enough for contractors and home services businesses to simply pay for clicks and get people to their website. If you're going to be competitive and not waste money for your leads, your website has to perform extremely well in three key ways. I'm Carter Harkins, one of the co-founders of Spark Marketer, a full service agency focused exclusively on making contractors and home service businesses more successful online. As you can imagine, I see and evaluate a lot of companies online every single week. In fact, we even once developed a checklist with over 160 factors to help us quickly assess how well a marketing strategy might be performing. But in this video, I wanna narrow that down for you to just three key performance optimizations on your website that you can focus on to make huge improvements in your success. And those optimization opportunities are content, conversion, and speed. So let's talk about content first. When someone clicks an ad or a listing or a search result and they arrive on your website, are they finding exactly what they're expecting to find? And how do you even know what they want to see? Well, fortunately, there are some really good clues to look for. Uh, for instance, where did they come from? We know that visitors from ads need specific information related to that ad that they just clicked. And visitors from more generic search terms like roofing contractor near me may need all kinds of information for their research. And the visitors that are coming from a directory listing have probably already seen some reviews and now they just want to confirm that yes, you serve their area and you do the work that they need. So in every one of these cases, your site should have content on specific pages that are set up to help these visitors get what they need. A good mix of items like headlines, service lists, descriptions, testimonials, images, videos, coupons, badges, and buttons, they're all gonna help these kinds of people quickly scan for what they need and it'll answer their questions without having to hunt around too much for things. So this leads us right into the second performance optimization, which is conversion. If you've already created lots of content on your site, but you still aren't getting all the calls you think you can handle, it may be because you haven't focused yet on making sure your visitor knows exactly what you want them to do. Remember that wise old saying, you have not because you ask not? Well, take a look at the pages on your site. Is it obvious to anyone viewing that page what it is you are asking them to do next? In the marketing world, we call this a call to action. And simply put, it's a message on a page, usually repeated multiple times, that tells your visitor exactly what the easiest next action is for them to take. Now, depending on your business or service, the next action might be to click to call, or start an appointment online, or request a quote. Whatever it is for you, make sure it's the clearest message on the page and put it in several places where it can't be missed. Lastly, let's talk about optimizing for speed because great content and a clear call to action still won't do much for you if your site takes too long to load for a visitor. In fact, this has become so important now that Google uses site speed as one of the most important factors when ranking pages in search results. In other words, slow to show equals no show in search results. This is the most technical of the three performance optimizations we're discussing today, and it takes some skill and experience to know how to tune a website to load faster. But there are two of the most common reasons that we see that sites take longer than just a couple of seconds to display in a browser. Here they are. Images that are way too large. Before you go including an image on your page, make sure you use a free online image optimizer or an app to shrink the file size and dimensions down to make it load more quickly. Also common are using too many third-party add-ons. Things like chat widgets and review widgets and video players and tracking and analytics scripts. All of these feel essential, don't they? But they can also increase the time it takes for that page to load. So when you add something new to your site, it's important to use a free analyzer tool like Google's PageSpeed Insights just to understand the impact that that shiny new widget you can't live without is actually having on your speed performance. So let's recap everything. Performance is the key to maximizing the results you get from your website and your ad dollars. 
So focus on three optimization areas for the biggest impact. Content. It's a mix of words, visuals, and pages that are the most relevant to each type of visitor. Conversion. A clear call to action on every page that tells the visitor exactly what you want them to do next. And speed. If you add something to your site, make sure it doesn't cause the page to load any slower than two to three seconds. Okay, that does it for me this week. I'm Carter Harkins for Spark Marketer, and I hope our company's expertise has given you a few useful things that you can start looking at right away. Have a good one.